Hi, Pavilion friends. I'm Miss Mercedes. Welcome to the Carver Classroom at your Washington Pavilion. I'm here today where I would usually be teaching classes, but since we're closed, I'd like to show you a few fun art activities you can try at home. This activity I like to call marker magic. All you really need are markers and water. If you have a paintbrush or Q-tip, that'll work for your painting. Did you know that you can paint with markers? So all you have to do is pick a color. Um, I drew with crayon to add a little bit of resist technique, but I'm just going to draw with marker onto a thick piece of paper or a paper plate, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of water on the end of my brush, and I'm gonna wet the marker and see what happens. Can you see the marker bleeding into the water? Now what happens if I draw white crayon underneath first? So what I did is I took a white crayon and I drew some designs that will magically appear when you see me painting over them with water. So I'm gonna wet the marker, and can you see anything appearing there? Oh, I see some lines. What if I go into here? This works on most kinds of paper. I just have a paper plate here, but you could use any kind of thick paper that you have at home. You could draw a picture or you could just do an abstract design. Oh, did you see his little whiskers pop out? So have fun playing around with some markers. You can try things like landscapes or draw a picture of a fish, maybe your own fish bowl. I used crayon where you see the little bubbles. Same thing though, you just take a little bit of water and it bleeds in, the marker bleeds into the water, creating an effect like paint. Another really great thing that you can do using coffee filters um, I took a coffee filter, just a regular old coffee filter, and I folded it up. You could fold it in half, and then you could fold it in half again, and then you can fold it any way you want. I accordion folded this one, and then I put some marker just on the edges and on the tips. I colored it so it kind of goes through the layers. If it's a little bit on one side, I try to make sure it's on the other side also. And then, like magic, I'm going to put a little bit of water you could use a Q-tip, you could even dip the corners in water. If you don't have markers at home, maybe you have some food coloring, this would work the same way, or regular watercolors would also work. So I'm just adding a little water so that the color can kind of diffuse into the paper and spread out. And once you've done this, once you've gotten all of your areas that you want wet and the color has started to bleed, then comes the reveal. So I'm gonna open this up and see how my design turned out. So you can see how the color has diffused. And if you don't have a coffee filter at home, you could try the same thing with a paper towel. So I just drew some marker on the paper towel. I also made sure it was on both sides. And then same thing, I'm going to add some water to my color and watch it bleed or diffuse. I'm going to turn it over and make sure that I have wet both sides so that it bleeds through all the layers because if it bleeds through all these layers, it's gonna create a really neat pattern when I open it up. So when these are dry, you could cut them into different shapes like Easter egg shapes, anything you want. This is also called um, shibori, which is a Japanese form of dip dyeing if you wanted to dip it. But you see the pattern that's revealed after you've done the marker. So you can try Different techniques, just using marker and water and things you have at home, Q-tips, um, crayons for resist, and see what you can come up with.